हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑन द चैप्टर नंबर टू दैट इज एनर्जी स्टोरेज अंटिल नाउ वी हैव सीन अबाउट द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द एनर्जी स्टोरेज वी आल्सो सो अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ द बैटरीज एंड वी सो अबाउट द डिटेल्ड वर्किंग ऑफ द बैटरी दैट इज लीड एसिड बैटरी राइट द लीड एसिड बैटरी इज द मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज बैटरी इन केस ऑफ द पेट्रोल इंजिन डीजल इंजिन राइट द बैटरी दैट वी रिक्वायर द ट्वेल्व वॉल्ट बैटरी दैट वी आर यूजिंग इज अ लीड एसिड बैटरी इन केस ऑफ द पेट्रोल एंड डीजल इंजिन और वी कैन से इन केस ऑफ द नॉर्मल व्हीकल्स राइट सो नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट the working of other batteries as well and also we will see about the pros and cons of those batteries and when and why it cannot be used in case of the electrical vehicles and if we are using it or not in the evs right so, so the first battery that you can see right now is the nickel cadmium battery that is nicd battery now in case of the nickel cadmium battery you can see that the the positive electrode or you can say the positive plate is kept of the nioh right that is nickel oxy hydroxide and the negative plate or the negative electrode will be kept of the cadmium metal right the separator will always be there as i told you during the lead acid battery as well that we will always require a separator whenever we are using the two electrodes of the battery and the material of that separator will always be porous so that ions can transfer through the separator and also the separator helps to uh, reduce the effect of the short circuiting of the two electrodes right so this is simply how the nickel cadmium battery is there now about the electrolyte in the case of the nickel cadmium battery it will be the aqueous mixture of the potassium hydroxide that is koh now during the working or during the discharging or charging process what the nickel cadmium battery will use is the water for the discharging and charging you can see the chemical reaction at the below part here you can see the cadmium plus two parts of the nickel oxy hydroxide in that case with the help of the h2o you can see that cadmium is converted into the cadmium hydroxide and also nickel oxy hydroxide is converted into nickel hydroxide right oh right the normal nickel was nioh in which one o or one oxygen contained was extra but in the case of the procedure of discharging it is converted into the nickel hydroxide that is the discharging process now the opposite will happen in case of the charging process the again the nickel hydroxide will be converted into nickel oxy hydroxide and cadmium hydroxide will be converted into the metal cadmium right always during the charging process the electrode tries to be back to its original position which gives us the again original position of the battery but after some time after some time you can say that the electrodes will be not at original position some of the content will be depleted which is original content is depleted or soluble in the uh, electrolyte as well so after some time we have to replace the battery but it is a very long way to go for the battery to be changed right until then it can be easily charged now nickel cadmium battery is used in some of the electric vehicles it has a good advantage it has the cell voltage of 1.2 volts so number of cells will be required number of battery packs will be required if we are using in the ev or hgv also there is one major disadvantage of the nickel cadmium battery is that cadmium is a toxic material and as we all know it has an carcinogenic carcinogenic properties right so we can also find some better solution than the cadmium that is nickel metal hydride battery nimh battery that we saw in the earlier videos so that is a better solution to nickel cadmium battery which almost gives us the same performance as nicd battery and because of that that nimh or nickel metal hydride battery is superseding to this nickel cadmium battery that we will see further in this video 
This is how the nickel cadmium battery is arranged in some of the way you can see that the components that can be used in one can you can see that this battery is type of a cell right this structure is a type of a cell that we use in normal electric commerce such as in a clock or in a remote right tv remote this type of battery you can see right now in the vehicles the different battery will be used but the arrangement of this component will be similar to this so in this you can see that negative electrode positive electrode is connected insulated washer is provided below right the can is given in which all the components are being arranged in which we in between them we will require to attach the separators as well as i already told you the positive and negative terminals will be given at opposite end of the can as well so this is simply how this battery will be arranged right second type is the nickel zinc battery right that nickel zinc battery is actually uh, not being used in the electric vehicles because it has a very uh, easy or very common disadvantage that does not allow us to use this battery because we already have better options as well the cell voltage of this battery is around 1.4 volts which is higher than the previous one but it has a certain disadvantage right now first let's talk about the electrodes so in place of the negative electrode the cadmium in this we are using the zinc metal as a negative electrode the positive electrode will stay same that is nioh that is nickel oxyhydroxide and the uh, electrolyte will be same that is aqueous potassium hydroxide that is koh the h2o from the aqueous uh, mixture aqueous mixture means the h2o plus any other electrolyte that we are talking aqueous means h2o right so that h2o will be used during the discharging and charging process for the chemical reactions as you can see in the chemical equation so zinc will be converted into zinc hydroxide and nickel will be converted into nickel hydroxide now there is a big advantage of using the zinc as a negative electrode because zinc will deplete itself and during the charging process the 100% recovery of the zinc electrode is not happening right so because of some cycles the zinc will be depleted and the shape of the zinc will change after some of the cycles so that shape change will not allow the battery to provide the power or to provide the voltage and current that is been required and after some of the cycles the battery dies so the cycle life of the nickel zinc battery is lower compared to other batteries and because of that that nickel zinc battery is not used in our vehicles the bottom part you can see the figure in which the normal cells are used or shown for the nickel zinc battery right this is the basic example of the nickel zinc battery next is the nickel metal hydride battery that is nimh battery right now in case of the nimh battery the positive electrode will be same that was earlier used NiOOH that is uh, nickel oxyhydroxide right but in case of the negative electrode we will use any of the metal hydride right metal hydride that is MH M will be any metal there are two options for the metals that are generally used in this NiMH battery that you can read that is lithium nickel that is known as the rare metal ed5 or alloys that consist of titanium and zirconium that is ab2 these two are the rare metals that can be used for the metal hydride in case of the negative electrode of nimh battery right so in the nimh battery it gives almost similar performance to the nickel cadmium battery also it removes the disadvantage of the cadmium which is toxic to atmosphere to users as well to service engineers as well so because of those toxicity the nickel cadmium battery lags to our nickel mh battery so because of that the nickel metal hydride batteries are generally used in the case of the nimh battery the electrolyte will again be the similar one the aqueous 
potassium hydroxide mixture right that mixture is used again as electrolyte also you can see that the working during the discharging and charging will also be similar the metal hydride will be converted to only the metal that we are using hydride will be disintegrated from the metal hydride that hydride will be connected with our nickel oxy hydroxide and it will convert it into nickel hydroxide that is NiOH2 right so this is simply how the discharging work during the charging process the opposite of this effect will happen right so this is simply how our three batteries of the nickel works right? these are the three types of the nickel batteries first one was nickel zinc second one was nickel cadmium and third one was nickel metal hydride from that the nickel metal hydride battery is very easier to use and also it is used in some of the electric vehicle or we can say some of the hybrid electrical vehicles as well other two batteries have some disadvantages because of that we are not using that or we are not using that in our normal vehicles right so because of that this NIMS batteries better compared to other two nickel batteries so in this video we saw about the three nickel batteries in the next video we will further see about the other batteries until then thank you so much